Love and Twin Flames. June 13, 2013. I express my deepest gratitude for this opportunity to step forward through my beloved Portia. Although the both of us are loving twin flames, each of your hearts is mine and Portia's also, just as both our hearts are yours. We all form one huge consciousness and one web of creation which implies that we all are a part of the big cosmic source of love and being. I feel inclined to express my energy and love today through the much talked about topics of love and twin flames. The unity and the grit of love are something so wonderful and pure of essence that they represent an exceptional creation which can take on any shapes and aspects it wants, everything is possible. Being part of this grid, all of you with no exceptions, see to it that all that is can shape and take the form of its creations that it wants to experience and to be. You are that experience, you are that shape, you are the being in creation, you are that endless energy which takes on all sorts of forms and colors coming from this grid of love and being. The most staggering shapes and essences are expressed through all of you my dear hearts. You are very exceptional. Love is in its most unconditional pure essence, that what twin flames represent, it deals with completion of each other and the hearts of your essence. Twin flames in and of themselves are something exceptional and special that can be shared with only one entity and being, and that is yourself. You consist of a male and female part that has been split off in two separate parts of yourself. Almost immediately after the birth of your soul, your essence, out of the source of all that is, that soul undergoes or better said you undergo a process of transformation in which all female aspects go to one extreme and the male aspects go to the other extreme. This is the splitting off and it all happens simultaneously. That's why there is often talk of the bringing in balance of the male and female aspects of your being. All too often the female and the male aspects of your being get divided in two distinct shapes that can each take on a whole incarnation or different aspects in incarnation. This is all dependent on the choices you yourself have made. The more aspects there are in incarnations, the more soulmates there can be who carry an aspect of you and your twin flame. Hence. Soulmates are not to be confounded with twin flames as you only have one twin flame and counterpart of yourself that completes and complements you. The real twin flame, the heart part of yourself of which you have split off being the male or the female part, is the one that you can genuinely consider as being your twin flame and not the aspects of you in incarnation. Aspects are part of your being, your soul group but are not per se the shape of your twin flame rather the form of the twin soul or soul mate to soul family. That is why it all goes awry in the interpretations of an aspect of your being. Everyone forms its own being, its own aspects as everyone has a lot of aspects on a higher level and in other dimensions other worlds. However, the pure essence of your being is and remains the same despite all pertaining aspects thereof. You form yourself. So being an aspect of a master for instance does not always mean that you are that master in essence at the moment of the splitting off from the source, although it is intrinsically a part of you. Being an aspect of a master does not always mean that you are by definition the twin flame of the beloved twin flame of this master. You are you in essence, and the other part of you, is your twin flame and that one can already be reunited in your being or not. Just by being the master in incarnation, or being this through soul birth implies the fact that the other master's other divine component is yours. There is a lot of confusion concerning these matters and I would love to rectify this now through my beloved Portia in incarnation and my twin flame through soul birth. Melaline. There are countless aspects of us that we overlight and that carry a little part of us all, being the masters. That way we spread our enlightenment and our energies all over the entire world. The truth of the matter is that many are us through those aspects, that those ones carry of our being, leading up to the fact that we form a part of the higher self, itself being part of the total higher self. All those aspects contribute to who you are in essence, bringing us back to the soul or energy that you are just nanoseconds after splitting off from the source. And that's the point that you choose to incarnate either in aspects and or as the half of your being. So the moment you get connected to your higher self, investigate thoroughly whether you are this in essence or just an aspect, as you have many aspects besides your essence and your higher self. 
This can explain why there is so much confusion around the topic of having the same twin flame. That being said, I would love to continue explaining the functions of twin flames in this world and this reality. We have now arrived at a momentum where all the initiations for the reunion of the twin flames take place and become factual. You will remark that you are drawn more and more to others and this is because preparations are being made to bring the genuine twin flame hearts together to instigate effectively the reunions in this reality. The purpose and meaning of this is to let this world shift in its totality into the light by engulfing the whole earth by the love of the twin flame, which in essence is the most astonishingly beautiful and powerful love ever. The twin flame love empowers everything in its existence with regards to its intrinsic light, it engulfs everything and everyone in existence with the essence of all that is. This power is needed now to enable the shift of this reality in its totality into a fifth, a sixth and even a seventh dimensional existence. Manifestations are now the order of the day and they will be speeded up and reinforced on account of the cooperation of the twin hearts through their reunion and balance. That's why all of us are expected to be here now while this is unfolding. Embrace this opportunity and always follow your heart when it strongly pushes you to choose another path. You will always be guided to be where you need to be at the exact right time. Divinity is now being played out in a beautiful and gentle way. Have faith in yourself and in your intuition for the twin flames are now called to reunite with themselves. No matter at what level this can take place, the reunion in the heart is always a fact. The rest depends on choices and creations. My dear ones, it was once again a privilege and a pleasure to connect with you in your heart. I love all of you. Thanks my beloved Portia. I am that I am. Saint Germain. Channeled by Melaine LaFont. Plea de Dolphin Infos.blogspot.com. LaFontMelaine.wordpress.com.